Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another video about slime and the newest, you know, I guess quality of life thing that's also, you know, you gotta pay money for. But the monthly subscription passes are finally here. This video is pretty late because it's been out for about two weeks and change now. But I wanted to wait and see if anything else got added, if anything got changed, get some opinions on it, and kind of judge the value of it for myself before making a full-on video about it. So now I have, and here we are. So to go over it, it is a monthly subscription. The first month obviously is free, unless you can't purchase it in whatever country you live in, in which case I'm very sorry, uh, I cannot do anything for you. But for the rest of the world that is not locked, the first month is free, so please go, advent, go and take advantage of it. You do have to input your credit card information, but it will not charge you. It charged me a total of 0.00, .00 on my bank account, so it doesn't actually charge you, and if it does, you gotta go talk to Bandai, because that's a problem. Uh, but as soon as you buy it, you get the rewards, and then you're free to cancel it like two minutes later. And you have up until two days before the renewal date to cancel it without getting charged again. So uh, whenever it came out at the beginning of the meta, the day before, so what, that would have been the 24th for me. So the 24th of this, or like no, the 22nd of this month would be when I would have the time to cancel it. Anything past that, and I will get charged for you know the next month. But you have all of that time in between to cancel it as you see fit, buy it, get rid of it, whatever. So there's no fee for discontinuing. It's just like a subscription for like Netflix or Crunchyroll, right? You buy it, you pay $9.99 for a month, you get a month. You cancel it in that month, you still paid for the month, but you won't get the next month. That's how it works. So at, with that out of the way, let's check out what it actually gives you. So the big pass, the one that costs me $20, gets you 150 of these Koban coins, a platinum hammer, three Tempest tickets, the construction time reduced by an hour, half parallel processing time, and this stupid fucking dark sword that no one can use except for the new Dark Reamer for the anniversary, or the four-star Dark Reamer room. And uh, because this came out a month after the anniversary started, I already made the sword for Reamer, so this is pretty much useless for me. But uh, the second month, the month that you actually have to pay money for, you start getting two memory shards for battle units, which is pretty good. And then the lower tier one gives you 50 Koban coins, three gold hammers, three silver hammers, one ticket, and then one double rate five star ticket, which really isn't all that good. But you can buy these together. You don't have, you're not locked into buying one or the other. You can pay, in my case, a total of $27, and you can get all of these rewards, which is pretty good. I like that you're not locked, and I like that you can stack all these. So these Koban coins, this 150 and this 50, are probably, you know, the best bang for your buck you'll ever get in this game. Because if we go into the shop, which we already are, so monthly pass, Koban banner, right here. So these tickets right here, you can see that they are for Scarlet Reminiscence and then the Violet Recruit. So these are the two current banners in the game. And when we go into the news, it'll say, for every new unit banner that comes out, this shop will get refreshed. And you can buy a total of three multis from any of the meta banners. So I bought three multis for the Toe and Benimara banner, and that cost me 150 coins, which gave me enough coin left over to buy one multi for Violet's banner. So that's four multis right there for $26. Okay? You buy a normal ticket pack um, for, like, Toa's banner, and that's a thousand crystals, five tickets and some other stuff. But that's three multis and a half. Three and a half multis and a little bit extra because that extra hundred crystals. So already, uh, $26 for four versus $80 for three and a half. Uh, already, that's a great value. So that's awesome. Alongside that, you also get those premium subscription tickets, or the premium Tempest tickets, which uh, I know it says in, like Tempest ticket, but it's actually this banner right here. Premium Recruit. And the difference between this and the normal Tempest is that the normal Tempest banner takes 150 to get this guaranteed 5 star, while this premium takes 40 pity. And you get, if you buy both packs, 4 multis, which is 40 pity. Which means that not only are you getting 
up to four meta banner multis, you're also getting four Tempest banner multis with a guaranteed five star at the end of it. So that's actually eight multis and a guaranteed five star for $26. Like, right there. Like, if that doesn't sell you on this, if you're a light spender, then I don't know. I don't know if you're playing this game right. If you're, if you're not spending anything, then don't worry about it. You got the first month for free. Cool beans. You're not going to buy it anymore. Move on. You got, you got eight summons for free. But for the people who are going to buy, this is incredible value. Incredible value. And uh, when we go back to that, it's going to update. You know, when the third banner comes, you'll have, you know, three multis that you can choose on that banner instead. I've already used my Koban coins for the month, so I'm not going to be able to choose that. But if you're, you know, patient about it, you can wait, and then you can just get, you know, a multi on Toa. You can get a multi on Violet. You can get two multis on whatever third banner unit's going to be. You know, it's it's up to you how you want to spend it, but you have the option. It gives you that flexibility. And I've seen a bunch of people pull them off of these Koban tickets and then not have to spend crystals, which is great. Right? It saves you a butt ton of cash and crystals and you know frustration because it, it's so much cheaper. Um, platinum hammers, gold hammers, silver hammers, cool, awesome, whatever. Uh, the construction time reduced by an hour is actually really, really nice, especially when you're building like the event buildings every month because the first like three stages of that take one second because it'd be like one second, 10 minutes, 30 minutes that it would take. And then it would be like two hours or something. And then it's one second, one second, one second, and then an hour. So that's awesome. And then these uh, accessory buildings down here that always take an hour, they take one second. That's it. You, you climb up the tower stages, you have the pass, and these you can have all these done in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> so I think that's very, very nice. Once you start, you know, trying to build up the really, really, really long two and a half day kind of buildings like these, the the rewards start to seem a little less obvious, but it's still an extra hour, and it, it's meant to cut a lot of these times really sharply. Um, so that's really nice. And then the half parallel processing time, um, the event 10 times parallel processing that we always have to do, uh, that went from an hour and 15 minutes for me to 37 minutes a day, which is good because then that gives me more time to do other things. So this would normally take an hour and 15. It now takes 37 minutes. I love it. All right, I, I love it, love it, love it. Now, one thing that is interesting, and I think it's only gonna pertain to this meta by itself, is the fact that both of these banners are up until January 30th, right? Which is way past when we're gonna get the next monthly pass refresh. So I did see some questions in my Discord asking when the month refreshes, are they going to give us more summons on these banners? Because technically the monthly pass is reset. And to that, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they are not going to. They're only going to give us three multis. And regardless of if the Koban coins refresh and you get more, you've already spent, spent, right, in theory, these coins, which takes away your options. This ends in 21 days, though. So it's possible this ends in 27 days. These will not get refreshed. They'll get, they'll have more tickets from the next meta coming in January added to it. But these will not magically become another three multis and you have three more chances to get Toa and Benny Mario. That's not how it's going to work. I could be wrong. I have, a, there's a very, very, very slim chance that I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that they're, they're not going to do that. They're just going to take these away and add the next, me, uh, add the next meta in. So the other things you can buy with this is this Jura Snack Bar, which gives you these uh, Rimuru Martini things that give you double bond XP for anybody, which to some people is very useful. Uh, this is the building and this is the little martini. Uh, a lot of people value bond XP and food and you know, whatever you value in your game, it's cool because it's your game. The only thing is, is that it costs 150 the Koban coins, so you're giving up three multis to buy this building. And if we take a look at level one, it's three hours for a 30% chance to get one margarita thing. And you also have to buy the trowel options with another 50 coins, which you need to level up this building, right? You can't just level this building up for free. You need to buy the building for 150. You need to buy the trowels for 50. 
and you can buy these over and over and over because you're going to want to level it up, right, to level level 20, which gives you a 50% shot of 1 and a 50% shot of 2. But that's going to be a lot of Koban coins, and I personally don't feel that this building and a 30% chance to make one margarita is worth the value of four or three ticket multis. I just, I just don't see it. But, you know, you play your game how you want to play it. You can spend your coins how you want to spend them. But I'm going to buy tickets. Because anything that stops me from having to spend extra crystals to go to pity, I'm going to take it. And I am stocked up on food, so I don't need that shit. So, I mean, that's fine. You also, for the first time, you get this stupid fucking sword, which a guy went over. Uh, when equipped by a dark character, increases attack by 10. Awesome. If this came out at the beginning of Anniversary, before I made a sword for Rimuru, that'd be great. It'd be great, because it's called a true Rimuru sword. But it didn't. It came out 25 days later, so I already made a sword for Rimuru, so this is useless. So thanks, devs. Uh, anyways, you also have the, right here it says, new tickets are added whenever a recruit featuring new characters is released. So every new meta character will have three, three chances, three 30 tickets that you can buy. So then there's vitality potions for tower, normal stamina potions, and the EX tickets. For the love of God, don't buy these. They're, they're not worth it. So, I mean, other than that, I think this is pretty good. And you get 13 crystals a day if you buy both, right? Just an extra 13 crystals. So, awesome. You get 20 crystals for your dailies. You get another 13 crystals there. You're getting a free single every day. I, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it will add up. And I do see my crystals, you know, climb higher and higher and higher than what they normally would because it's free shit, right? And then also... Also, which I didn't realize at the beginning, but then someone pointed it out to me, is that it increases your dailies that are not crystal related by 50 times, right? So 50%. So login, stamina, or actually it doubles it, sorry, not 50%, it doubles it. Um, the login stamina is normally 30, now you get 60. The login for the certain time, now 60. You get 40,000 coins instead of 20. You get one, two potions instead of one, and you get two hot pots instead of one. So that's also pretty good too it's 120 stamina that's two potions i mean this is very very good alongside your 13 crystals a day alongside your eight free multis and a guaranteed five star unit and the reduction time and the hammers and the shards next month i think this was a great great thing that they added into the game um the only setback being if you're in a country that does not allow the purchase of it to which, again, I don't really know what to do or help you. So, um, yeah, I think this is very, very good. And I appreciate them adding it in, whether it was late or not. But this will help a lot of people who are on the fence about spending because this is quite good value for a relatively low price. So, that's uh, I think that about covers everything the monthly pass does for you. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this monthly pass. Do you appreciate what it brings? Are you going to keep paying for it once uh, once the free month ends and you can get all this and you know plus the shards and ticket? Or do you think it's just another greedy thing the devs did and they want to steal your money and you hate them? Let me know in the comments below, but that's it for me guys. Take it easy and I'll see you later.